The sunset's gonna be pretty tonight. That's gonna be pretty once it goes on. And it goes fast. <laughs> like within a half an hour, it'll be down there by the mountain. cloud in the background and then those zippy cloud lines. How pretty. So I hope I don't forget to come out here in 20 minutes or so. Okay, so I think I'm focused. Oh, uh, hi. Okay. I knew I was going to miss that sunset. Anyway, hope everybody's doing really good. I'm excited to do this. It's going to be fun. And I have it totally level, so she's good to go. Uh, no, not quite. I forgot. These molds here, though, they will leave lines. And then when you do a new mold in it, it may leave just a slight sight of that same line. So it all depends upon how you're going to design it, but I'm going to pretty much use the same line levels right there. So I'm going to go outside and I'm just going to powder the inside of this with some baby powder. Okay. And the powder prevents it from sticking to the sides. And that's all you need to do. You do not need to tape your sides or anything. So I have my resin made up. And I'm using the floral epoxy. And that's from the epoxy resin store. Okay. And the label looks like that. Don't look for this stuff works really great. It's a deep pour resin. Very clear. I kind of know from before what to do here. I'm going to take a little toothpick just to make sure down in the crack that there's no bubble. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my invention here <laughs> so what is this guy he's like a sail border i think just glue gunned a little bit of him don't want him completely under his board right on right on so that's like right there you know that's right you see the bubbles coming up from his boat, too. I really want it. All right, he's going to sit for a long time, and then I'm going to come in and put a few waves in here. Oh, so sorry. Okay. Let's check it out. Oh, it's been about 12 hours. So I have just a little bit of the same resin in here. I want to put a little bit of casting craft in there. Church cup of one. Little drop. All right, so we'll come back. Okay. <laughs> so it's actually come to about 24 hours. Oh, 
24 hours to get to this point. So here, just hope that snaps right off. Hmm. Okay. So it snapped off after I turned off the camera because I thought it was going to take me a while. Yeah, I'm just going to pour this in there. Yeah, that's good. It's to where, like, it covers the boat a lot. That just added two drops of crack, casting craft. It's just to make it look, cover up some of those. I don't want too much. Now, I'm going to wait like six hours, then I can come and do my next step. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> oh, it's nice and hard. It's actually the next day. So, yeah. The only thing that scared me was that stick I hot glued on there. See, originally it would not stick. It came off, so I don't know what I was thinking. I just added more hot glue, not thinking that it would be hard to pull it up. <laughs> anyway, don't use a lot of hot glue. Just try it first with just a touch. <laughs> I'm gonna add just a little bit of sailboat blue alcoholic. One, two, that's it. That's not too much. This is the deep pour. As you can see, it's nice and clear. Oh, it's very much like liquid diamonds. Oh, I just put a whole bunch of bubbles in it. It's all good though. They, they surface. Something little particle black in there, I can see. It's hard to look under the camera because I see little things that my normal eyes don't. Letting that set for a good 15 hours. Not sure if a lot of you have seen uh, my one where I slept in and it was too late to put my wrecked boat in, <laughs> but I stuffed it in there anyway. It was actually kind of cool, but for me, it's about 15 hours for it to start getting tacky. Yeah, the climate outside, the temperature of your home can all make a difference on the curing time or how long it might be getting tacky. And it's kind of like trial and error in your own home. I kind of learned from my first few. Okay, there's a little black speck. I'm gonna just pull it out with the pipette. Hopefully they're wet, right up there. So we'll be back. Okay, so 12 hours is coming up. Not quite ready, but you can see, you know, it's still gooey. And the toothpick even sinking. So we're gonna wait this out. But I'm gonna do something first, and I'm going to attach this mermaid to here. Okay. Okay, so I did that with the glue gun. And this is heavy. I can't put these light ones in there first because then once I put this in, it'll suck all the light ones down. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, I put these in because anytime you have those real soft ones, they'll just squish going in goopy resin. So. There we go. 
trying to find stuff. <laughs> That's fun. funny. Okay. I never had to do this before. Uh, I just get them in there, but these are heavy. So this turtle's heavy too. I think I'm going to do that with him too. Just to play it safe. There's a certain point to this to where it will just all of a sudden start getting really hard. Look at that, how much faster it is. I know that this little silverfish is gonna sink. <laughs> I'm playing chopsticks. Can't you tell? <laughs> so, I need to just bring that one up. So I want the stick going under the resin because then I won't be able to get the stick off. Okay. <laughs> So this is the first. That is so funny. But <laughs> I had to keep it from going under and it worked. You got to do what you got to do, right? <laughs> I don't think anything's going to go anywhere. There. All right. So here comes the this one. there's that piece I know those are not gonna sink so there's no reason for those to stay attached just get my fingernail underneath and that's it well, very very hard to see with all those sticks tape okay well, that trinkling you're hearing is my cat's water fountain so I don't have much now but I had to pick that up it's completely hard. I didn't want to do the next step without that being completely hard anyway. So it makes it perfect. Get that up. <laughs> Look at this piece of resin. All right, so I rigged this thing up. All right, so this box here is one of the, the double ones. I know they come wider, and that's the reason I kind of wanted to stretch this, kind of puff it out of shape just a little bit so that if you want to change boxes, you can go with the bigger one they have. And then I also have, like, these here. These change colors and stuff. I'm going to check that out, too. But I'm originally going to use that one, but I'm going to check these out, too. So I want that to fit in there, too. These are really cool. If it don't fit, then I'm going to go ahead and just use my Dremel. You know, and Dremel around wherever it needs to go. So it'll shimmy in there. Because this was just a little bit too long. All right. So I imagine you could do this either two ways. You could either lay a very tiny layer of resin so it'll seal off the sides. I want to seal off the sides because I don't want any resin going underneath because I want this area to be able to be lit up. And I've experienced if you put too much sand or anything, you're going to block your lights. Okay, let's get this done so we can get on to the... Next one. Just as long as you don't budge it after you put it in there, you're good. And you know what? Even it has a little leak, that's cool. Okay, so I'm thinking that's plenty. And I'm just gonna pour my resin in this because I do not want it thin.
guarantee you won't see kitty hairs down in this. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to keep continuing to just level that. Okay, looks level to me. And it'll level out too. Okay, so I'm so glad this is the last part. This is hard. Now I'm going to put these blue uh, mirrored, you know, those decorative filler fillers. Glass. Blue. Okay. <laughs> Big ones off the top. Okay. Oh, my son came to the door uh, with my cat. And I had to get my cat out of here quick. And I didn't turn my camera back on. They just poured it in here. So yeah, I hope that's nice and level at least, you know, like this. And that's what I'll do is just kind of level it. Make sure it's like level to that. And that's it. So we'll come back when it's hard <laughs> and see it. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. So I just woke up. I have to excuse me if I am wheezing and all, but I didn't even take my medicines, nothing. You didn't even make my coffee. Went to the bathroom, that was it. <laughs> Guys, I am really excited, seriously. I'm also a little nervous, of course. <laughs> uh, two things that I'm kind of worried about is the fish might be upside down, the little silver fish. <laughs> um, nothing else that I can remember. All right, let's, let's do this. My chapsticks, my Avon chapsticks. Okay, this might get messy. But I figured take these out first, of course. <laughs> Roll my chapstick back up. Vanilla latte. Yeah, good. Yummy. <laughs> Take measure. <laughs> Extra razor blades. And then here's my thing and my fairy lights. So you can put any type of fairy lights in there. Yeah, I just had those only. All right, so I see it, um, big gaps here, which is really nice. Whoa, nice. I thought maybe the, no, that's nice. So here's our sand. Hello. Well, let's just do it. <laughs> ah, I'm nervous. Oh, first. Let's see. Look at that. Let's put a little backing on here. Like I seen uh, Louise Stapleton do. Right there. And then. Awesome. That worked. Before I open this up, <laughs> this I just made because I used to make these a lot and I actually sold so many of them. And I bought this cool cup, coffee cup the other day. And I, I wanted one of these and I didn't have any. So I think they're just really cool. my coaster 
my coffee bean poster. I'll put a top coat on it and then I'll put little feet. This one here I took out early because I was very doubtful. Oh, it's pretty though. It's like the top is clear, the bottom got full of bubbles because he sunk and I had to pull him up and down a whole bunch of times. It's really pretty in person. Much more better than this camera. Oh, oh, look at my snails way up. Yeah, there's a spot. That's not bad at all, though. There we go. Oh, my God, it is pretty. Oh. Oh. Oh, my gosh, it is cool. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure which one I like better. My other one. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, look at it. There's that anchor. That's what I was worried about. <laughs> bottle. This worked out really good though. A few flying shells because of the waves. <laughs> so I always say, oh, there's my fish. You know what? He's okay. He's not upside down. Oh my gosh, he's not upside down, is he? Awesome! So I didn't want to put all those fakie fish in there. I just wanted one little fish for like the mermaid's friend. He's not supposed to be way up there though. Little snail. He's cute. So cool. That's so hard in the camera with these. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, look, there's some bubbles still remained in his boat. That's cool. They turned out amazing. None of them are flying up in the air this time. So that really works using that same resin that sat. Amazing. See how that's gonna look. Oh, that's gonna be really cool. You know, I put some of those blue rocks in there, as you can see, to make it look pretty. Hopefully, with the lights on. 
Okay, I'm in my closet again. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I can't see the knob. There. <laughs> there we go. So this is the round one in there, the one with the remote. I like it better because it's a brighter white. That's the white. And then you can put like your own colors and stuff. Real pretty. That sure is neat though. It's like she's looking up at him. See, she's looking right up at him. Isn't that cool? Oh, I wanted to show you with these strand lights. Because this seemed to be brighter. Let me see, white. Oh, it's real bright. It's nice. I like it. Then when I put this one... Can't do anything. Uh, how am I going to do this? See, it's actually very nice. You know, so anybody could put any lights they want in there, actually. That's what's neat about it. Well, I'm gonna to try to take good pictures. I'm really bad at that and I apologize. Well, anyway, everybody, thank you for watching and hanging in there with me. Have a good week. I sure plan on it, all right? Have a good one. Bye-bye now.